Sharon. Um, I have been mentally ill for the last 12 years. I suffered it with, with my father dying. Um, for the last 10 months I have been straight with everything. Uh, I go to back on track as I want to be a mentor and I'm there five days a week. I've just finished my level one English and MVQ and passed. My, my advice, more well, my personal advice is that if you have any mental health problems regarding drugs, alcohol, anxiety, anything to do, talk to your doctor, people that you can talk to, there's a lot of organisations out there, don't suffer in silence like I did for years, get the help, it is more, more helpful for you and it stops you suffering at the end of the day. My name's Alison and I work for Self-Help Services and I coordinate the at-home service for Manchester and this is an online service that you access online in your own home and that, uh, with support calls provided by supporters to match the modules. It's aimed at uh, people with um, low levels of uh, low mood and low levels of anxiety. Very rewarding actually because you um, I, People are referred to me from the GPs or self-refer, and then um, I uh, go through an initial assessment with them, which they can they tell them a little bit about the problems that they're experiencing, and um, I assess whether I think they benefit from the program, and I support them for that next six weeks. So I get to know them quite well, really. The support sessions might only be about 10 minutes or they could be as much as half an hour depending on the particular needs. So it depends what I can see everything that they're doing on the programme. So I can sort of direct things and say this might be a good idea or I can say I can see that you're having some problems with this, what about trying this and, and relate it back to the cognitive behaviour therapy programme. So. So I'm Steph um, and I volunteer for self-help services. I do a drop-in session for social phobia on a Tuesday evening. Um, I'm very new to it, I've only just started, so it's a bit daunting. Um, and I've volunteered before in the past when I was at uni and it's just something that I've always looked back on and thought I really enjoyed doing it um, and wanted to be more involved with it. I think it's really good, I think the training that they offer is brilliant. Um, and the process, because I've gone through volunteer processes before um, to get volunteer positions and this one's been really quick and it's something that I was quite surprised with. Um, you know, I applied a couple of weeks later, I had an interview and then got a position and it's been brilliant. What interested me about self-help was the emphasis on empowerment and helping users to help themselves or just allowing them to access services that are going to empower them. I think that was really what attracted me to it because I think that's crucial um, with mental health. I think people underestimate individuals' ability to manage their own kind of illnesses um, and their mental health issues so I think self-help in particular has services that offer that and can guide people into how they can help themselves and it's just really empowering I think. My name is Nick Second and I'm Performance Informatics Manager for Self Help Services. And today we have our Mental Health and Wellbeing Open Day. And as you can see, it's really busy. Um, and as you can see, we've got a fire alarm, so we're keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real and making sure that, you know, we're, we're proving that we operate in the real world. And in the real world, fires happen. It's gone well. It's gone well. We've had um, several people who have uh, come and received advice and now get access to services. So I think a lot of people have benefited from coming along today and a lot of people who get access to services. We've been leaving, uh, handing out leaflets because we have a wellbeing day, a mental health wellbeing day today in town. And I've been round to the pubs. Uh, dropped a few leaflets in, spoke to a few of the customers. It's, um, as I say, I'm a binge drinker, which I haven't touched for 10 months. I haven't touched alcohol at all. So me actually walking into a pub without having a drink is a big thing for me. And I can do it. I know I can do it because I believe in myself now. And that's what you need to do. Once you're on a road to recovery, you need to believe in yourself.